All right then, extra upload. Louis is here again. You've almost made as many appearances on this channel now as I have. That's great, isn't it? And thank you for the shout out, by the way, because I've doubled my subscribers. It's all right, it's all right. In a day, this guy's an absolute legend. I thought pre-match today, we're gonna go to a Chelsea pub now. We're gonna go to the Shakespeare. Sounds a little bit English to and me, doesn't yeah, it? It's on Ian's checklist, so it, it's probably gonna be really good as well. Yeah. I mean, there's some B-roll, I'll send it to you, of what it was like last night when we couldn't go because we really wanted to, but... We bottled it. Yeah, <laughs> we bottled it, and I was like, guys, should we go? He was like, Hang on a minute. half an hour. Who was the person who said to me, oh, I got in and my head hit the pillow and I fell asleep? Not was me. that you? No. That was me, actually. Let's go this way, I'll show you synagogue as well. I told you that we're a tolerant country. Hey, so nice. In one kilometer, we have synagogue, we have mosque, and we have church. Oh, shit. Very one nice. Kilometer, yeah. Oh. Who said this was just a football channel anyway? We're going to show you some culture. This is going to be just like a walking down the street, chatty video to uh, to surplus what we did this afternoon with our match predictions. Emin, do you yeah. like football? Um, uh, yeah, actually, somehow. <laughs> you play you play football more than you watch though, right? Exactly. And what do you think the prediction is for tonight? What do you think is going to happen? Um, I think Chelsea, um, the score will be like something three. Three? Yeah, I think so. Really? <laughs> 3-0 then, we'll, we'll like call it 3-0. Who will win? I think Chelsea will win, but Arsenal will take two. Okay. All right, 3-2. Three, three, okay, like That's what I said earlier as well, to be honest. Real? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, a little thing that you'll see in the Baku vlogs is there is a great juxtaposition in this city between the old and the new. It's a very oil and gas rich city. Emin is actually a guide, so he's the man who's taught me all of the, the facts about when the buildings were built and all of that stuff. Um, so you'll see a lot of that in the vlog, but we're actually just walking around a few of the side streets now to get to the Shakespeare. We're staying in the Winter Park Hotel. It's a pretty good spot. If you're not here for the Europa League final, you can get a room in there, a double room for about £70 a night, which is pretty good considering it's like a four slash five star hotel. Pretty luxury, good With restaurant the in there. And massages and the gym. And, and, just... <laughs> and how do you know that? Because uh, I, I looked at the brochure. Because you've not been editing your videos and doing your work. You've been well, in the ha sauna, haven't uh, you? Actually, I've been multitasking. <laughs> I've been good. I've got, I got. Well, we did our video. Yeah. Uh, I've got an interview with Deco up, and then the vlog I'm going to have to edit later. But it's going to be a good day. I'm feeling it. You're feeling good about things now. Yeah, first line high. You know how I feel. That's a very, very good song. Oh, no, but right, absolutely banger. Yeah. Sun is reflecting off these buildings. It's, it is quite nice. I always said that whenever the day goes on and it's a match day. And an important match day, my pessimism grows dramatically. Thank you very much, Mr. Taxi Driver. They've got kind of like black cabs here, but they're more like purple cabs. However, I'm sticking to my guns. 3-2? Emin has said 3-2 now, and I'm thinking that there is, there's destiny and fate involved with some of these things that are being said. Hi, guys. Hello. Didn't get any hellos back. It's because this channel hasn't got many subscribers anymore. If it was on the main channel, they might say hello. It might be worth it then, but Are you basically trying to be a celebrity today. in it backfire? No, I was just being polite. Okay. I was being nice. You can't say <laughs> so yeah, I'm sticking to three two. How far away is this Shakespeare pub? I'm by actually the way? in five minutes from here. Okay, it's five minutes from nearby. here. Three you know, minutes. when I was doing my twelve week body transformation, walking down the street holding an iPhone X wouldn't have been that strenuous, but now my arms have got slim Jim again. Um, I'm feeling this, you know, three minutes and forty one seconds in. It's actually easier to hold a tripod with a uh, DSLR, but. We're gonna die. Thank you very much. People are actually really nice and polite here, to be honest. Going past the synagogue, very multicultural place is Baku. Predominantly Muslim, but it's uh, it's very westernized in the way things are operated. But yeah, as we're walking to the Shakespeare, I'm gonna cut this little bit short, show you the Shakespeare pub, show you what the Chelsea fans are up to right now. And uh, the traffic is picking up a lot, so we decided to walk instead. And the weather is gorgeous here, so it is well worth it. I'll see you in the pub. Oh, to my message, by the way. So this man is trying to get into the Chelsea bomb. Oh, 
right. You want to see that in London? He tried, fair play to him, he actually got to the door. That is the Arsenal pub somewhere around the corner. They have that bought so, so many more numbers than depressing. we have. Uh, look, at the end of the day, what's happened? happen? Sorry, I just covered my finger with the screen. That's probably not a good bit. This is this real is behind the scenes of 100% so, Chelsea now. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not the vlogger, that's Lewis. So I shouldn't be, I'm the presenter. I'm the good looks. You know, I'm, that's what I am. All right, I'm not going to lie. That was actually a massive anticlimax in terms of the turnout. To be expected with the price and everything. It's not the most accessible final you'll ever see in Europe. So Chelsea numbers are quite low. There's actually a lot more Arsenal fans, as you can see here. So I think we're going to be slightly outnumbered in terms of blue to red in the stadium tonight. However, it's good to go to the Shakespeare pub. It's the place where the Chelsea fans that have made the journey have been hanging out over the past few days. Hopefully this gives you a little idea as to the vibe of things that have been going on here in Baku just before the game kicks off tonight. Still beautiful sunshine, still very nice and warm. Chelsea fans that were there, all in good spirits, but I think it's kind of like, it's one of those things where you expect a lot more numbers of people and everyone's mood kind of reflects that, where it's a bit like, uh, you want more numbers, you want to sing a lot more, uh, but they're just not there, it's, it's not happening. But anyway, this is just a little extra upload for the, for the end of the day, before the final, I'll obviously give a little, <laughs> what is he doing Sorry, behind? Sorry, I've got on your blog. <laughs> <laughs> It's absolutely fine, Louis. Do whatever you like. I, I personally think I, I'm, I'm great. Like, look, it's Eric Morgan in. It's like skip like that. This is the uncut football channel where I can say and do whatever I want. In the name of football. Is another Arsenal fan here? How you it's doing, mate? Good. Oh! Hello. How you doing, mate? Put it there. In the left hand. This is not professional. It's not Make how sure it's you watch done. That. Give me a prediction. 3-0. 3-0, Chelsea, brilliant, that'll do. He didn't even specify who, so therefore, <laughs> we'll take that as a double from Ross Barkley and an own goal from Kolasinac. Anyway, that's it from me. Louis? I'm happy with that. We've ticked off the ENS, we've got a hat, we've got a carpet, we went to the William Shakespeare pub, carpet museum we've done, but you know, you need to do a little bit more, but I'm happy. Emin, thank you. You're the best guide Yo, in the whole of Azerbaijan. I'm yours. <laughs> My guy. See you later.